Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you how I archive my logic projects. Now by archive I mean keeping the whole project so I can edit it later, but um, keeping it as small as possible in terms of hard drive space. So I got my project file here, my project folder, excuse me, and this is the actual project file. Now I don't want to overwrite this because this is my main mix down, that's the thing I actually want to keep. I'm just gonna uh, get info and lock it so I don't accidentally overwrite it. Okay, so the other thing you have in here is the audio files folder. Now this contains all the audio files you're using in the project, uh, even like outtakes or if you recorded a few minutes worth and only use a tiny little bit of it, you you're gonna have the whole few minutes worth in here. Then you have the bounces, you probably know this one very well. The fade files, now these are calculated on the fly when you open up a project. So sometimes it says like creating fades and you have to wait a minute. Um, once you created the fades, it stores them in here so you don't have to recalculate them all, that all the time. But you don't need them, you can just throw them away and it's gonna get recalculated later. And then you have your project file backups and your undo data. Okay, so let's open this up. There it is. And I use a lot of looping in here. So I recorded a few minutes of percussion and just cut out a little tiny piece here and looped it. And I did this with most of the tracks in here. This is a very tiny project. Okay, so Let's get rid of all the audio files that are not even shown here. So these are all the files that are not even used in the project. So to do this, you open up the media bin. You just click on media bin and you can see all your files in here. It's quite a lot, like it's more than you can see here. So to get rid of the ones you're not even using, you hit audio file Oh, actually, sorry, click edit, select unused. Now it's highlighting all the audio files that are not even used in this whole project anymore. So I'm just gonna hit backspace and keep an eye on the project thing here. I'm hitting backspace and the project still looks the same. So it only got rid of all the audio files I'm not even using anymore. Now I still have things like, for example, this file here, that's my percussion track on top. Uh, I recorded a few minutes and I'm only using this tiny little bit of the whole file. So I want to get rid of all the unused stuff here. So the way to do this is you hit Command A to select all your, your regions and you click on Audio File, Optimize Files. That's gonna ask you how much on the left and right you want to keep. Like for instance, I only use like a few seconds in here and then looped it, but maybe I want to edit this little crossfade or whatever later and I need to extend this region again. So you can actually tell it how much you want to keep for future extending of regions. I like to do just half a second, you know, in slower things you might want to keep a little more. I'm just going to go for 500 milliseconds here and hit remove. Now it's optimizing all my files. And it's recalculating the, um, the representation. And now you can see in my percussion track, um, I'm using this whole part and it just kept half a second here and half a second here. Now this is not even megabytes anymore, it's in the kilobytes range. So everything here is kind of tiny and neat. And now I'm just gonna save the thing. Save as. Um, I like to make a new folder, so I'm just gonna copy this. Make a new folder. Name it like this and add logic project. Boom. Hit save. 
this is actually relevant. Uh, this actually pops up if you lock the project because it thinks you don't have privileges to save this. But now if you compare both of these, the old thing was 109 megabytes and the new one is just 29 megabytes. Uh, the original actually got smaller, it used to be like 180, but it deleted all the unused audio files, so it shrinked. But if you compare both, this is the original, and this is the new one, it only has um, the project file and the audio files. It doesn't have the bounces, it doesn't have the, the backups, and none of that. So now it's pretty tiny. But we can even get it a little smaller. Um, a way to get it smaller is to use compression. Now these are all AIF files. It, even if it's WAV files, it's pretty much the same. Um, these are completely uncompressed, so you don't need any computing power to play them back, but it takes more space. So what you can do is you just take the whole folder and compress it in RAR. I like to use this little Simply RAR program. Uh, you can get it for free, just Google it. And I just put the compression on best. I like to test archived files just to be sure. I just drag it in here. Create RAR. And I like to just put it into the same folder. Uh, this is a little complicated. Most people actually don't know that you can do this. Uh, if the save as dialog pops up, you can just drag and drop a folder in there and it's gonna navigate to this folder. So I wanted to have the same name, so I'm just gonna select this, put in here, logic project, make. So now it's compressing the whole project. Now it's testing it, and it tested all the files, and it completed successfully. Give me check it back here. Um, all okay, fine. Okay, so let's compare the folder with the RAR. The folder is 29 megabytes and the RAR is only 15, so it's basically half it. Um, sometimes like raring it gets it down to like 10% of the previous space. So it's really worth it. Um, so let's just get rid of this. Whoop. And let's get rid of the original file, but actually I want to keep up, keep the bounces. So I'm just going to drag them over here. And on this new folder, like out in the code logic project, I only have the RAR, 50 megabytes, and one MP3 bounce. And I don't really need much more. I get my time step in here. It's perfect. So this is how I got it down from 183 to 15 megabytes. And this is how I archive my projects.